Now I'm going to show you how to make ozone water. So this is the ozone water bubbler system. There are three components to it. There is the flask, which looks exactly like this. I've already pre-filled it with some water. We have the stem, which goes directly into the flask. And then you're going to need an ozone destruct, which is going to neutralize the excess ozone. So as you're bubbling the ozone gas through the water, it's not just going into the open air. It's going through the destruct and turning it back into oxygen. So first things first, you're going to notice that there are two stems on the water bubbler system. It's important not to mix up which one is which because they do, um, they're, they're for two different purposes. So the center piece is what's going to connect to the ozone generator. This piece that comes out to the side, this is going to connect to the destruct. The center piece should have this valve on there. And this is what's called a hydrophobic valve. What this means is this prevents backflow into the generator in the event that you forget to disconnect your bubbler after making the ozone water. It's super important to disconnect it every single time because with the nature of these oxygen tanks and regulators, once you set them to zero, they create some suction which will pull through um, the ozone generator and can lead up to lead to water backing up into your machine or oil if you're using oil. Um, so this disc protects it from that. If this disc gets clogged, it's not going to produce bubbles in here. So you can take the disc off and just connect it directly. Uh, you can replace the disc. Usually they come with a replacement, but that is the piece that is going to connect to the ozone generator. And we made it easier because this lower lock fits onto here, whereas the lower lock on this end does not fit to there. This will fit directly to the destruct. So we have the center column connected to the ozone generator. The column that is offset of middle is connected to the ozone destruct. Right now I have about 14 ounces of water in here. It holds a little bit over 16 ounces. You can bubble as much ozone water as you need, whatever you want to do. But the thing to remember is that for every eight ounces of water, you want to bubble for 12 minutes. So again, for every eight ounces of water, you bubble for 12 minutes and you don't have to remember all these numbers because they'll be down below. So the first thing I do, turn on the ozone generator, and then we're going to set the concentration. Now, contrary to popular thought, it doesn't actually matter the concentration that you put into the water bubbler system because with the way the math works out with the flow rate and the concentration, it ends up being the same regardless of what setting you use. That being said, so that we don't confuse people, we just choose setting seven and say set it to setting seven uh, because people get kind of confused with that concept of mathematically how that works out. For simplicity's sake, we just say setting seven. So I go ahead and set my regulator to setting seven. And then once you do that, you'll notice that it's actually bubbling the ozone gas through the water. So the ozone is coming out of the generator, going down the stem, and then the gas is bubbling through the water and then out into the destruct. So I can't actually smell any ozone right now, but if you do, small amounts of ozone are normal. Again, it's the very detectable molecule, so even if like one part per million is getting out, you'll be able to smell it. So I wait 12 minutes per eight ounces for full saturation. That's how you make ozone water. So once I'm done, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my sh machine. You'll notice when I turn off the machine that it's still bubbling gas. The reason is, is because we still have the oxygen on. So even if my machine is off and the oxygen is going, there's still gonna be gas pumping through it, but it's not ozone, it's just oxygen. It is not making ozone unless I have the machine on. So turn that off, set your regulator to zero, and then you can do with your water what you wanna do with it.